In today's video I'm going to show you how to install this EPH 3 port valve. So let's have a look what's in the box. So you've got the valve which comes with a um, different type of connection on it. You've got your wires which I'll explain what they are later on. And you've got your connector which goes into them. And you've also got a little paper diagram in here if you need to know what the wires are. I think it's a great idea. So blue is neutral, orange is hot water on, um, grey is hot water off, white is central heating on from the room stat, and green and yellow is the earth connection. There you have it. And then basically you have connections on here so these connections are a b a and b a b the way i remember is any boiler so you get flow coming in from the boiler up here then it chooses where it should divert it either to b or a or it either sits in the middle a is away from the boiler so i say radiators that's how i remember it away from the boiler um, so radiators and then B is bath so I also see that as the bath so that's hot water so you have heating on that side and you have the bath going on that side we're going to be taking out this old Honeywell one and just, just remember to remember what side is on where so the bath so the hot water is on this side B is on this side and the A is on this side so the heating is now on this side here so Remember to drain down the system. I've drained down the system here. So the system is drained of vented all the rads. I've made sure this is open and closed, just drain everything out of it. And also disconnect the electrics. Turn the electrics off from here. I've already protected myself with the plumb tubs because a bit of water will come out of either, either end. I've turned the mains water off so nothing can fill back in. So everything's drained, electrics been isolated. I'll leave this connected. I will disconnect this first and then I will connect up the, the, the wires. Let's get started. Remove the electric cover, make sure the electrics are isolated. What I like to do is snip them. Now they've been snipped, I can take one wire out and replace it one by one. Now this has been connected, what you've got to do is fill the system up, connect, put the electrics back on, and job's good and job done.